Hello and welcome to the Friday, March 8th, 2024 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. We got a guest diary today again by one of our sans.edu undergraduate interns, uh, Josh Lockwood, uh, looked into whether or not attackers are targeting certain networks with particular attacks. And the one thing he looked at was attacks that are specific to AWS. There are a couple of URLs that we top commonly see hit in our honeypots, like uh, AWS credentials, AWS config that are specific to AWS deployments. And yes, uh, what uh, Josh found out was that a honeypot that he had deployed in AWS did receive uh, this, these requests. Another honeypot in Asia did not see any of uh, these requests. But we need to look at this in more detail and uh, take a look at uh, all of our honeypots, we have a bunch of users who have deployed honeypots in different cloud providers. And then, of course, we also have honeypots in home networks and small business networks. So it'll be interesting to see and uh, look a closer look at uh, some of uh, the differences that we see in attacks against uh, these different networks. It's, of course, relatively easy to get uh, lists of IP address ranges that are used by specific cloud providers, so attackers may as well take advantage of that and target these specific networks if they're looking for a vulnerability that only occurs in those particular cloud providers. We've got an interesting update from Apple today. Now, first of all, somewhat expected, we got an update for macOS and some of the other operating systems like tvOS, watchOS, and now also uh, visionOS. This was expected because we got the iOS update a couple days ago, and of course, these vulnerabilities also affect uh, macOS in particular. And yes, with this update, we got uh, patches for the same two Saturday vulnerabilities that were addressed in iOS uh, two days ago. But remember, the iOS update two days ago only had four vulnerabilities addressed. This update now has about 70 plus or more than 70 vulnerabilities addressed. And of course, many of them also affect iOS. Uh, in particular, there are a number of WebKit vulnerabilities that are basically affecting any operating system using Safari, which is uh, all of the operating systems are using WebKit to render HTML uh, content. Well, I looked back at the iOS and iPadOS uh, updates that Apple published, and they amended them now and added these additional vulnerabilities. So two days ago, when you applied your latest uh, iOS and iPadOS update, you already applied these updates that are now being made public, or you fixed the vulnerabilities that are now being made public. And yes, many of these vulnerabilities affect multiple operating systems. This is the first update, I believe, where we do have a Vision OS updates. There were some before the Vision Pro was actually released, but now we have three Vision OS specific vulnerabilities that are being addressed here. One affects Persona, the feature with the virtual representation of the user. That's, of course, a Vision OS only feature. And then we have sort of a notification spoof. Again, since they're somewhat different in Vision OS, it makes sense that there are issues that only affect uh, Vision OS and an issue with improving the handling of caches in Safari. A little bit odd that this one only affects uh, Vision OS, but this was really just a privacy issue because the caching behavior could be used to then fingerprint users. And for everybody still moving stuff into the cloud, and the NSA, together with CISA, published five joint guides that well uh, tell you a little bit about how to do so securely. Things like, for example, key management practices, securing the data in the cloud, and the like. So five uh, different documents here. Usually uh, these documents are very well written. Haven't had a chance to look at sort of all the details uh, of these documents yet, but I'll link uh, to all five in the show notes. 
Well, and that's it for today. Thanks for listening and hope that you'll leave a comment in your favorite uh, podcast platform. Thanks and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.